have you all here as witnesses, as wife and husband before God. Together, share the joy of their wedding both with the outward celebration of this occasion and the internal appreciation for the love that surrounds us. Sarah and Tracy, you two have the opportunity to build an amazing life now together. You are blessed to share this experience with the loved ones gathered here to support you as you embark upon this journey together. As the Bible reminds us, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes always perseveres, love never fails. May you all remember and cherish this ceremony for on this day with love, we will forever bind Sarah and Tracy together. Who gives this bride away? Thank you. Marriage is more than a simple exchanging of rings or combining of material assets. Rather, it is an indescribably, wonderfully shared commitment. And while today I legally bind you together, the important bonds we form today are largely invisible to the world, existing primarily in the unfulfilled corners of your heart. Marriage is one of life's greatest gifts, and it is a blessing to make these promises to your soulmate. As you hold on to one another, you will find deeper levels of joy, happiness, and peace. Your marriage is the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your lives. And despite all adversity, all and any adversity, what did I say? Any and all adversity, you should always be there to sustain each other. Sarah and Tracy, I want you to take a moment to sense this tremendous amount of love radiating right now in this space. As you stand here today, before God, before those gathered here in your honor, and before you, before one another take another, take vows before each other, realize that your life will never be the same. Because marriage, regardless of any preconceived notions that you may have, has the capacity to deepen and challenge you deeper in your relationships in ways that you never thought possible. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you to face head-on challenges 
as you encounter you will encounter on this earth. On your journeys together, keep your spouse in the space of the highest priority of your hearts. I think I just said something. I'll say it again. Keep your spouse in the space of your hearts as pri highest priority forever. Learn to work together, to laugh together, to love together, and don't cut, get caught up in allowing anybody or anything to draw you apart. Instead, focus your shared devotion and turn inward. As your relationship strengthens, you will find that you will come to share a remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. Sarah and Tracy would like to now express their vows to each other. I'd like you to turn to each other. saying wow my love for you will never falter and I will only grow stronger with each only grow stronger each day we share together. I will be an honest and faithful husband always a friend. Hey. <laughs> Do you take Tracy to live together in you and your marriage? <laughs> <laughs> to live together in union and marriage, to take him as your best friend and partner to life, to honor, cherish, and love him from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for all the days of your life. Thank you. Thank you. Do you take Sarah to live together in union and marriage, to take her as your best friend? and love her from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, for all the days of your life. circular shape reflects the unending power of love, a force with no beginning and no end. You should wear these, prouds, these, these rings proudly and let them remind you of each day about your commitment to one another. Sarah, I'm going to start with you. Repeat after me as you place this. I, Sarah, give you Tracy this ring. I, Tracy. I, Tracy. Give you Sarah this ring. Give you Sarah this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit all of my heart. I commit all of my heart. And soul to you. And soul to you. I promise to cherish you. 
I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. For the rest of my days. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. Accept all that you are. Accept all that you are. God, how we thank you for this moment. We thank you for love. We thank you for the example of Jesus Christ who showed us the, what true love is all about. We pray today that your Holy Spirit continue to allow this couple to shine, to live, and to have exceedingly happiness together for the rest of their lives. Bless them in your name we do pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. Well, family and friends, by the power vested in me as an ordained minister by the state of Colorado, I am pleased to pronounce Sarah and Tracy as wife and husband sealed together both in law and in love. Tracy, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> and Tracy Pittman. Yeah. Yeah.